So I got isolated for three months last year. Okay, and this this pandemic, I am double yung ingat ko kasi if I get that. Uh, last year, I got sick. Um, I got sick around June last year. Uh, for some reason, I, they said I have a scar, a scarring on my lungs already. Hi guys! Good morning! Welcome to my channel! For, the, for today, our car fashions is a little bit different. Um, by the way, time check 9.05 on a Thursday morning. So today, I'm going to the hospital. So I am... Uh, last year, I got sick. Um, I got sick around June last year. Uh, I got hospitalized because of chest pain. And they thought it was pneumonia. And, but after a few weeks, Found out that I have TV. So, okay. expect to have that because um, so I got isolated for three months last year. Kaya yung COVID, don't like isolate. I mean, I was so excited na ma makalabas sa isolation. But after, after my isolation COVID game, now all of us are being isolated, right? So, happens. Um, I've been... Uh, Going to uh, been going to the hospital, Toronto Western Hospital, for for almost eighteen months now. And yeah, just para nila magfollow up ako every once a month. So they do my lab works, they do my uh, X-ray, they do. Actually, next month they're gonna do a CT scan. Cause for some reason, I, they said I have a scar, a scarring on my lungs already. So they said they just it's healed, but they just wanna make sure that you know it's not gonna come back. Cause I don't wanna go there anymore. It's really hard to, be, to get sick. Yeah, okay, this this pandemic, I am double yung ko kasi if I get that. I might be in a bad, bad position if I get the COVID now that I am still recovering from TV. Um, I thank God. I thank God for, for everything that he gave me to me in my life. It made me realize that hindi talaga hindi talaga tayo yung control dating sa buhay natin. I mean, like 100, not 100 percent. We thought that we are invincible because we're not getting sick. We're invincible because we're not, you know, we have a job, we have a secure job, we have a secure family. But at the end of the day, turuan ka talaga ng Panginoon maging humble. To humble yourself upon Him. And to, to still call for Him. Lalo sa mga oras na kailangan-kailangan. 
Kasi siya lang talaga yung pwede mo Mapuntahan Need to comfort you To give you assurance that everything will be It'll be okay So Yeah During, that, during those times It was really hard I really thought it was a heart attack because I'm having so much pain on my chest. And I was uh, actually when I when they said it's a pneumonia, I got relieved that it's not a heart attack. It's a, yeah. I was on a diet back then. And I was I'm losing weight like so fast and I thought that I was doing right on my diet. I went from 95 to 80, 80 kilos, which is, um, and that's only for like two months, maybe. So, doctor said, go to diet, eat lots of food, healthy food, so that this population recovers. I'm diabetic too. Hindi siya naging ganun pabilis. But I'm so happy. Slowly, but surely, uh, I made it out of that dark moment of my life, I guess. So, yeah. So, I'm just happy. Happy to be able to use this as a testimony of faithfulness, God's faithfulness to my life. Okay. I still believe na kahit ano pa yung pinagdadaanan natin, at hindi tayo papayaan ng Panginoon. God will always be there to direct us to the right way, to the right path. To the right path right? So, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm just expecting it to be out of my system like 100% sure so that you know but I still I can still feel that I'm still weak because I can't I can't run as much as I can before like before I get easily tired I can feel that you know I'm gasping or my breath every time I do running, swimming. The doctor said it's not gonna be that fast for the recovery. I just have to wait. I'll be back. I need my GPS.